656, time now for our Sunrise Smart Start. Yeah, you might have heard about this. People across the country and right here in Rochester have been receiving mystery seeds in the mail from places like China. They were delivered to a random pool of residents. The envelopes usually describe the contents as jewelry, but inside there are seeds. Officials are warning, don't open these and do not plant those seeds. Kodak stock price soaring from just over two bucks on Monday to $33 a share as of this morning. This after the company announced that $765 million federal loan to make pharmaceutical material. Some are profiting, including Kodak CEO Jim Continenza, who bought nearly 50,000 shares of Kodak stock on June 23rd. The company says that stock purchase by Continenza met with regulatory guidelines. Some medical experts say hundreds of thousands more Americans could die from COVID-19. According to officials, 150,000 people have now died in the U.S. with both Florida and California setting new fatality records. The Association of American Medical Colleges calling for decisive, coordinated action. Well, of course, the pandemic has taken a toll on workers, but hiring is on the rise. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, total non-farm payroll employment rose by over 4 million in June, while the unemployment rate went down to 11.1%. Job search agencies in Rochester say they are beginning to see an influx of people who are looking for work. Tomorrow, school districts will submit plans for students for the upcoming school year. Each district will present its own plan to the governor for approval. Many have announced plans already involving a hybrid model with students in class some days of the week and learning online the others. Fairport schools are holding a town hall tonight to share more information about the hybrid plan. That starts at 6.30 on the Fairport School District Facebook page. Happening today, friends and family of the civil rights icon, Congressman John Lewis will say their final goodbyes. Lewis lay in state in the U.S. Capitol for two days this week. His body flown back to his home district of Atlanta yesterday. Lewis's funeral is set for today at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church. After some storms yesterday, a beautiful start to this day here in Rochester. Good morning. Hey, yeah, good morning for sure. Uh, we're looking a lot better uh, as temperatures are hanging in the 60s right now. Live view across Canandaigua Lake. Beautiful start there across the Finger Lakes. Your forecast smart start here shows us climbing into just the lower 80s as we get into the afternoon. You see partly cloudy, uh, isolated shower or storm by this afternoon, likely south of Rochester across the Finger Lakes. But otherwise, let's enjoy uh, the 30th of July. And we'll do that. That sounds right. like a plan. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update's coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Be safe and have a great day.